Hi, my name is Jean and this is my channel Learn with Jean. In today's topic, I'm really excited to talk about the pros and cons in terms of what aspects of ChatGPT are helpful and what aspects of ChatGPT are limited. There's so many headlines going around about ChatGPT taking away human jobs, replacing humans, even headlines like ChatGPT can pass a Wharton MBA exam. This bot can also pass a medical licensing exam. So what does that say about our world? We're obviously shifting where technology is going to dominate and it's gonna be more advanced. And the solution is to use technology to your benefit. And so when you're building an online business, there's so many aspects like marketing and copywriting, email, drafting copy for your website and landing pages. And all that is just so challenging. And you're like, it's gonna take me so much work to do it myself. I don't know how to get out of my own head. And the problem is that with trying to write our own copy, I will say it's very almost impossible. I've tried it. I've been taught how to write copy, but ultimately it's very hard for us as individuals to write our own copy because we're just too much in our own heads. And it's just when you distance yourself from your experience, you can have someone else support you on that journey to help you write copy, to develop the copy for your business. So here's where chat GPT can be really effective for writing copy. It can give you ideas for a copy. It can borrow ideas based on a persona that you give them, such as, like, hi, I'm Jean, 40, and I'm from California, and this is my likes and this is my dislikes, so try to come up with a bio about me. That's where it can be helpful, but one of the limitations is that you don't want to rely on that as your final biography. You want to take what ChatGPT has written and look it over and be like, does that sound like me? And that's really important when you're developing and building your online business because it's very competitive and competition is good. And so competition can encourage you to really focus and hone in on your business rather than leaving it stagnant. And so using ChatGPT can help you get ideas for writing copy, but ultimately if you read it and you're like, that doesn't sound like me, AI can only replicate your voice so much. The machine, the bot does not know you, so do not fear the bot. Instead, embrace it and use it as a tool. I still firmly believe it's important to listen to your own intuition and what you're feeling. And if your heart is saying, I wanna write an email today, write an email today about what is coming up for you. ChatGPT can throw out ideas for content and that's great. And then use that and then listen to your heart and say, do I wanna use that idea today? Maybe not. Ultimately, yes, AI is great and ChatGPT is great, but I wouldn't recommend it as the final tool in your marketing or website copy. It's just a supplement. You can have someone use the tool to get some ideas but ultimately compare what ChatGPT has written to what you know about the person, their experiences, their background, their life story, and see if they match up. So if you're wondering whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, it is a good thing. It's allowing us to do our work more efficiently, saving us time, saving us money, but ultimately don't use it to replace hiring someone to look at the copy in your business to see if that's authentic and it represents who you are because I can tell whether the copy matches the brand and that's what's really important is that chat GPT is not going to able the machine learning chat GPT will not be able to tell you whether what they've written is what matches what you feel inside your heart it's not going to be able to tell you whether those two versions of what they've written is in alignment only because you've experienced all these challenges as a business owner trying to teach what you're trying to teach. ChatGPT is here to stay. It's gonna get even better, but don't use it to replace hiring someone. Use it to work with someone to develop the copy, develop the marketing and the emails that you plan to write because most importantly, people wanna hear from you as a person and not from the machine. I'm going to use my friend as a case study because I think this is a really great example of where machine learning and artificial intelligence can be really helpful. I noticed as a friend what was missing from his profile, that brand voice that is really important to capture but really nuanced and really challenging. So I had a friend use ChatGPT to help him write his LinkedIn profile. 
And when I read it, I was like, oh, wow, this sounds amazing. But knowing my friend and knowing who he is and his experiences, his background and his personality, I know that the bot did an excellent job of writing a profile for someone that may sound like him. But if you actually talked to my friend, you could tell very easily that what he wrote in his bio does not match up with the person that is in front of you. And so that becomes a bit of a disconnect. Chat GPT is great, but it still has limitations and it will never be fully able to replace any human because if you think about it from a, a spiritual lens, a machine doesn't feel and you get, it's really hard to program for feelings and a machine cannot really experience the same feelings and ups and downs that you may have experienced in your life trying to build programs or learn how to code. If you're worried about ChatGPT, there's no need to worry. Embrace it, have fun with it, and know that it's part of a growing set of tools into our toolbox and everyday use. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.